Hey guys, Arena Stories here, and today I'm going to be showing you my complete gear set in Wrath of the Lich King as an armor penetration rogue. Now, bear in mind guys, this is mainly for rogue mage, or if you're playing with a shadow priest that has high haste, or a feral druid, or a retribution paladin. This does not work if you're playing with a healer, so just bear that in mind. First off, we have our gloves, Wrath for Gladiator leather gloves, gemmed with 20 armor penetration, enchanted with 44 attack power. Next up, we have Vengeful Noose with 3 armor penetration gems. Next up, we have our legs, Sanctified Shadow Blade leggings. Next up, we have Frostbitten Fur Boots. Next up, we have Ashen Band of Endless. We mainly want this for the proc chance. Next, we have Band of Bone Colossus. It's not the best, but there is better in ICC, but I just haven't been lucky. Next, we have Titan Forge Ruin. You can get this from Wintergrass, guys. Next, we have Deathbringer's Will for armor penetration. Next, we have Crimson Star. Next, we have our offhand Rib Sputter. If you can get the War Axe from ICC 25 Heroic from the boat boss that would actually be really really good guys i just haven't been lucky with those runs next is our main hand which is the wrathful gladiator spike next is our bracers fluxing energy coils you can get better in icc of course but i just haven't been lucky next is our chest wrathful gladiator chest now for this guys I would recommend you get the ICC chest, the boat boss in ICC, since it does have a lot of hit rating, and I would recommend getting the PvP pants. Next up, we have our cloak, recovered scarlet onslaught. Next up is our shoulder, path for gladiator shoulders. Next is our neck, seed of budding carnage. And lastly, our helm, wrathful gladiator helm. And we have a hit rating of 7.11% and armor penetration on default by 58%. Now with the proc chance of our trinket, it can go all the way up to 90% and our expertise is 14 instead of 20. If you are playing with a healer or a high spirit shadow priest, you're going to have to use 20 expertise. Now I just want to show you guys a quick example on how this works when you are playing a double DPS comp like Rogue Mage. Pull it. The mage blocks. Oh, but he kicked him. Big shiv with the pump. Look. Clean game, clean game. Big shiv should uh, rename him to Big D. Yeah, yeah. I think that was Shadow Dance in the end. Ah, look at those bushes. 6k bush. 5k bush, bush, bush. Now we're gonna go ahead to the talent tree. First off, we have Relentless Strikes, 5 out of 5. Next is Master of Deception, 3 out of 3. Next is Opportunity, 2 out of 2. Next is Camouflage, 3 out of 3. Next is, of course, Dirty Tricks for our Sap and Blind, 2 out of 2. Next is Elusiveness, 2 out of 2. Serrated Blades, 3 out of 3. Approved Ambush, 2 out of 2. 3 out of 3 on Initiative. Heightened Senses, of course, 2 out of 2. Preparation, Dirty Tricks, 2 out of 2. Hemorrhage, 1 out of 1. Deadliness, 5 out of 5. 3 out of 3 on Master of Subtlety. And Premeditation, of course. Chi Death, 3 out of 3. Wele, 2 out of 2, very important. Sinister Calling, 5 out of 5. Shadow Step, of course. Filthy Tricks, 2 out of 2. Slaughter from the Shadows, 5 of 5. Shadow Dance, of course, our main burst. Next up is our Assassination Tree, Improve the Fissure Rate, 3 out of 3. Malice, 2 out of 5. Puncturing Wounds, 3 out of 3. Ruthlessness, 3 out of 3. And finally, Vigor, 1 out of 1. For the Glyphs, Vigor, Shadow Dance, and Preparation, and Vanish. These are the main ones you want, guys. And... I'm going to be showing you guys another example as to how this performs in Arena. Now, I just wanted to state, guys, that this is my personal preference while PvPing and what works for me at high rating. It may not work for you, so just bear that in mind. If you are deciding to go with this type of spec, it can be extremely, extremely powerful and end the game possibly within seconds. But you are basically playing a glass rogue, which means if you get stunned and you don't have your trinket, you can literally die in one shot. You can literally die in seconds. So 
you guys just have to take that into account. You have to play extremely fast, have extremely fast reaction time. If you are playing with a healer or even with a shadow priest with high spirit to go longer in your games, you will have to play attack power and resilience. You're going to have to stack those up. But if you are playing rogue mage or a high haste shadow priest or with a feral or with a retribution paladin, then this spec is absolutely fine and is currently best for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Join the Discord. And if you did enjoy this, do leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching.